I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw turkey bugs. I'm going to take two fingers way over here on the right and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a little straight line to the left, come back to the dot, little straight line to the right, come back to the left, slight diagonal line, straight line going down on the left, slight diagonal straight line going down on the right. I'm going to come back to the left and join the two with a curved line. I come right above and I'm just going to draw a little baby rectangle and then I'm going to put a little rectangle inside. Now I'm going to draw a slightly curved line to the right, jump over, slightly curved line to the left. I come back over here on the left and I'm just going to draw a curved line, straight line, curve line up, connect. Right at this point I'm going to draw a curve line over, connect on the left, jump over, curve line over, connect on the right. I come back to the left and I draw a little curve line inside and little straight lines on top. I come to the right and I draw a little curved line inside, little straight lines on top. Come back to the left and I'm just going to draw a straight line, curved line, straight line up, connect. Right in the center I put a dot. From that dot I'm going to draw a flat oval. I come over to the left and I draw a curved line up connect. Right above I put one dot, two dots. I come down to the left and I draw a straight diagonal down, slightly curved line over, straight line up, connect. I come on the right hand side, straight diagonal over, slightly curved line up, straight diagonal up, connect. Come over here on the left and we're just going to draw a straight diagonal out and leave it floating. Come over to the right and we're just going to draw a slightly curved line down, slightly curved line over, slightly curved line up, connect. Come back down here, we're just going to mimic this line, curved line, curved line, connect. And a larger curved line, connect, one, two, three little straight lines. Now we come back over here and we're going to draw another flat oval. All the way over, come inside, slightly curved line, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. One, two little dots, come right above, we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down, up, connect, and above that we're going to put one, two little dots. Come down on the left, we're going to draw a straight diagonal out, curve line in, leave it floating, come on the right, straight diagonal out, curve line in, up, and leave it floating. Come right back here on the left, we're going to draw a big curve line up and over, connect, and right at the bottom we're just going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come over here to the top part and we're just going to draw a curve line up, down, out, in, out, in, one more, down, up, connect. Now come back over here to this guy. We're going to add a line going up. We're going to add a slightly curved line going over. Connect. But right here we're just going to draw one flat oval, two flat ovals. We're going to draw a baby circle inside the left, baby circle inside the right, 
one, two, three, four little straight lines. One, two, three, four little straight lines. Now we come back over here and we're going to add a curve line over, jump over, curve line over, jump over, curve line up. Now we don't want this floating in outer space. We're going to do a little horizon line. So we're just going to put a straight line out to the side on the left. Jump over, straight line out on the right. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I'm going to start with my black and I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop this space. Bring it down. I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop this space. And you'll do a better job than me. You'll make it more solid in color. Now I come down and I do this space black. I do this space black. Bring it over. Take your time. I mean I might even draw this in one session and then color it in a different session so I don't get tired. So this is all black. This space. And then I come down and I do this space black. Okay, next I'm going to come in and I'm going to use my yellow and I'm going to do this little space up top, yellow, and these little spaces down below, yellow. And I already forgot a part. I'm going to come in with my black again and I'm going to do this space black. Now I can come in and do my brown. And I'm going to do this space brown going up and around on the right. Jump over, up and around on the left. I'm going to do this space brown. And if I had a different color brown, I would do the inside of this brown also, but I don't. So I'm just going to draw, color it in a little bit lighter. Then I come down and I do this space brown. And I do this space brown, okay? Right and left. Now I come over here and I do this space brown. Take your time. Come down and do this space brown. And then you're going to come over and using really any colors you want, you can do your feathers. But first I'm going to do this space orange and these spaces orange down here at the bottom. And I'm going to fill in this space orange also. Next I get my red and I'm going to color this space red and I'm going to color this space red up above. I'm going to Use green on this space just to break up, add a little pop of color. And I'm going to use my blue violet for this space down here. Now, you could leave this alone, but of course, you know me, I can't. So I'm going to take my big fat yellow and I'm just going to fill in, like I always do, straight lines of color. For the background. Now some of you might want to draw pictures. Some of you could write Happy Thanksgiving or I'm thankful for. This is a good base for a message. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my Thanksgiving buds all colored in. Okay, bye bye.